Hello, this is quick review on the repeater script. It's created as panel, so you can find it here in window repeater. Now you can drag it anywhere on your workspace, for example here. As you see, it's a very easy design, just four buttons, so it's very easy to use it. So let's start. Create new composition and import some footage, for example, this one. Drop it here. I just change it color to a little nicer. Okay, and just little scale it down to 70%. Let's create repeater. Select this element, press here on square repeater, right here, for example, 7 on 5 copies, create. And you can see that this create repeater with 35 elements, 7 elements per horizontal and 5 vertical. And it has 3 control layers. Uh, we can change here offset, for example, minus 3 on minus 2. So now our central element become, becomes center of repeater. Uh, change position, for example, 300. This is good. Uh, if you change shift, it's a little bit shift up, but I cancel it. Uh, here are two rotations. Personal rotations uh, rotate every element around element center, each element center. And main rotation rotate all elements around this one, central element. But i show you later. Scale. We can write here, for example, 2. And now you can see that every next element uh, become bigger by 2%. As the file script use linear mode to calculation the transform changes. Uh, to change it, you can press here on wave controller and press here transform from the center. You don't see changes, but they are. If you write here, for example, 20. So now you can see that every next element from the center become bigger. And it works with everything, with opacity, for example, minus 20 and 20. Uh, you see the central is brighter and then go, goes down. And it works with main rotation. Let's write here, for example, 10. And you can see that it's rotated around center. But if you we use linear mode, let's cancel everything this. Zero. Uh, put here, and if you use linear mode, you can see that lines are rotating around center. So, what's more? Uh, let's take a look at wave controller. Write opacity, for example, minus 5, and go to wave controller. Here we have parabola wave. If we use it, you see that it's like parabola goes down and then goes up. Uh, length of wave, right here, for example, 10, and opacity goes down minus 15. And you can see that only 10 elements uh, use uh, changes of transform. So, offset wave, you can move it, you can move the wave, you can see that now wave is here, and show only wave elements. This hides everything else. And we have randomness controller. Here you can randomize every transform parameter uh, in your repeater and change random seed to just change uh, random number. As you see, this script has a lot of parameters and you can change and animate it everything. You don't need to animate each layer just change parameters in in control layers i show you let's cancel all these randoms and for example select position press here go a little bit for one second for example press u and scale it up for 700 and let's take a look now we have this animation and you can animate with keyframes every parameter in repeater. So let's take a look at round repeater. 
create new composition circle uh, drop here your footage change it color for example blue and repeat it create circle right here for example two circles uh, now a little bit scale it down our elements select transform controller open scale and right here 40 uh, then we can see that everything is the same as in a uh, square repeater except this one orient along circle uh, checkbox if we use it uh, you can see that all elements become looking in center they are orient along this circle so now our personal rotation doesn't work but everything else is the same let's take a look at our wave scale it up for example to 5% you can see this wave and you can use for example parabola wave to make it parabola and everything else is the same I think you understand it by yourself now let's take a look at our third button is replace import few pictures for example this one and select few layers here I select all layers for example but you can select any number of layers and now you need to select here your layers except this one press replace button and you see that all layers are automatically changed uh, scale it up again As you see, it replaces in linear order, so every third element is fire. Uh, this button random help you to randomize our order of elements. Uh, let's again select all elements, press here random and replace them. You see that every time you press it replaces in random order. So that's all. As you see, script has a lot of possibilities. It has a very easy and friendly user interface. And I hope you are interested in it. Uh, link for download you can find in description to video. And if you have some questions, write me through my video file profile or here in comments. So thank you and goodbye.